carcinoid syndrome uh, versus carcinoid tumor. Is there a difference? Yes, there is. Carcinoid tumor is just a tumor. It's a mess. But carcinoid syndrome is made of symptoms caused by increased serotonin. Serotonin is called 5-HT because it's the 5-hydroxytryptamine, which comes from tryptophan, the famous amino acid. This is Medicosis Perfectionalis, and this is my playlist called 5-Minute Review. If you want some quick reviews, check out this playlist. Carcinoid tumor is not the same as carcinoid syndrome. The former is just a mess. The latter, symptoms. Syndrome is made of symptoms. Let's say that I have a carcinoid tumor here. By the way, the most common location is the appendix. Carcinoid tumor is usually a yellow colored tumor. Okay. Is this a carcinoid tumor or a carcinoid syndrome? So far, it's only a carcinoid tumor. It's not a carcinoid syndrome yet. Why not? Because all of the serotonin that is secreted by this doofus tumor is gonna go to the portal circulation and it's gonna drain into the liver. The liver will metabolize all of that serotonin, leaving no extra serotonin in the bloodstream and therefore no symptoms. There are no symptoms, there is no carcinoid syndrome. When this serotonin is being metabolized, it becomes 5-hydroxyindoleacetic acid, which will be excreted in the urine. The liver metabolizes, the kidney excretes. But what if later this carcinoid tumor metastasized to the liver? Now there is carcinoid tumor in the liver. Now some of that serotonin will be dumped onto the hepatic veins, which will take it to the inferior vena cava, which will take it to the right atrium, right ventricle, lungs, left atrium, left ventricle, aorta, all over the body. Now, your body will suffer from carcinoid syndrome symptoms, which are related to excessive serotonin in the systemic circulation. So the moral of the story is, before the liver, you have the tumor with no symptoms. After it metastasizes to the liver, you have the tumor and you have the serotonin symptoms, what we call collectively carcinoid syndrome. Tell me about serotonin. It's the 5-hydroxytryptamine. It's a neurotransmitter. It's made from tryptophan. It's secreted by neurons, gut, and platelets. It's part of the platelet granules. Who metabolizes serotonin? Mao enzyme. You find this in neurons. You also find this in the liver. After serotonin has done its function in the synapse, it's going to be reuptaken. How can I prevent the reuptake? Give me a selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors. This will increase the serotonin in the synapse because no one is metabolizing it. No one is breaking it down. So it keeps piling up. Carcinoid syndrome symptoms are caused by too much serotonin in the serum, which will cause, are you ready? Too much itching. It's caused by the serotonin. It's also caused by histamine break because carcinoid syndrome has serotonin. Everybody knows this. It also has high histamine, high bradykinin. Almost no one knows this. Increased GI motility will give you secretory diarrhea and cramps. Some serotonin receptors are GS coupled, causing relaxation of smooth muscles, including the smooth muscles in the wall of your vessels, which will lead to vasodilation. Vasodilation will cause flushing. Vasodilation will decrease the total peripheral resistance, which will decrease your blood pressure. Hypotension. Vasodilation can lead to facial telangiectasia. Ectasia means dilation. Tele means distant. And you means vessel. It's the dilation of distant vessels, such as small vessels in your face. It can also cause vascular violaceous macular rash. Some serotonin receptors are GQ coupled, causing constriction of smooth muscles, such as bronchoconstriction, bronchospasm, which gives you wheezing, and SOB, which stands for shorts of breath, because I'm a good guy, I do not cuss. After the tumor metastasizes to the liver, it's gonna dump all of its serotonin onto the hepatic veins. Some of the tumor can even metastasize to the right side of the heart, not the left, the right, because the inferior vena cava is gonna take you to the right side of the heart. So you have pulmonic stenosis on the right side and tricuspid regurge also on the right side. In some cases, there is mitral regurge as well. You know that the liver can metabolize serotonin, right? Right. Also, the lungs can metabolize serotonin. But how come you get mitral regurge here? Well, it probably means that the carcinoid tumor has metastasized to the lungs as well. The lungs are connected to the left side of the heart. That's why when you get left-sided heart failure, you get what? 
Pulmonary congestion and pulmonary edema. See, medicine makes so much sense once you understand what the flip you're talking about. Other carcinoid syndrome symptoms include glossitis, by the way. Tryptophan can give you 5-hydroxytryptophan. It can also give you kinurinine. The 5-hydroxytryptophan will give you serotonin. Serotonin can give you melatonin. Or it can get metabolized into 5-hydroxyindulacetic acid. See you in the urine. The kinurinine will give you niacin, which is vitamin B3. Now, let's say that I suffer from serotonin syndrome or carcinoid syndrome. What's going to happen? All of my tryptophan will go this way to make tons and tons of serotonin, leaving less tryptophan to become niacin. And that's why when I have carcinoid syndrome or serotonin syndrome, I can suffer from pellagra, which is vitamin B3 deficiency, niacin deficiency, with the famous three Ds, diarrhea, dermatitis, dementia. And finally, death. So a patient with carcinoid syndrome suffers from diarrhea for two different reasons. Reason number one, serotonin is directly causing diarrhea. Reason number two, the lack of niacin can also cause diarrhea. If your professor told you this, I will retire from YouTube and work for a garbage company. How do I diagnose carcinoid syndrome? History and physical exam. You need to find the tumor and biopsy it. How do I find it? Well, if it's in the abdomen, CT scan of the abdomen. If it's bronchial carcinoid, which is rare, you CT scan the chest. Biopsy the tumor, send it to the pathologist. You can also measure the level of 5-HIAA in the urine. That's the metabolite of serotonin. If you see tons of 5-HIAA, it means that the patient has tons and tons of serotonin. How do I treat it? Avoid alcohol because alcohol invades your liver and we need your liver to metabolize serotonin. So please don't overwhelm your liver. Surgical resection of the stupid tumor, octreotide and ciproheptidine. Octreotide is a somatostatin analog. Somatostatin is a universal inhibitor. It inhibits everything. It even inhibits serotonin secretion. Is carcinoid syndrome the same as serotonin syndrome? Ah, uh, nah, they are close, but they are not identical. For example, serotonin syndrome has muscle rigidity, hyperthermia, myoclonus, delirium, but carcinoid syndrome did not have these symptoms. Carcinoid syndrome is usually caused by a carcinoid tumor that metastasized. Serotonin syndrome is usually caused by drug-drug interactions. What is octreotide, a somatostatin analog? Somatostatin is a universal inhibitor. We use it for hyperprolactinemia because it inhibits prolactin release. We use it for acromegaly because it inhibits growth hormone release. We use it for GI tumors and pancreatic tumors because octreotide is somatostatin analog, which is a universal inhibitor. It's going to decrease serotonin, decrease VIP, decrease gastrin, inhibit glucagon release. It's a universal inhibitor. We can also give it for esophageal variceal bleeding or acute variceal bleeding because it decreases splanchanic blood flow and it inhibits or decreases portal hypertension it's a universal freaking inhibitor believe it or not somatostatin even inhibits its own secretion just think about that side effects of octreotide include nausea vomiting diarrhea because you inhibit constipation <laughs> and it can increase your risk of gallstone because it inhibits cck cck wants to keep the bile moving but when you inhibit cck you get stasis which can increase your risk of gallstones what the flip is ciproheptidine? Ciproheptidine is my buddy. Why? Because it's antihistamine, it's also anti-serotonin. All types of serotonin. That's why you can give ciproheptidine to treat serotonin syndrome or carcinoid syndrome. Because it inhibits serotonin receptors. Here is carcinoid syndrome in a nutshell. Pause and review. Don't forget that carcinoid syndrome patients can suffer from pellagra as well. Can carcinoid tumor cause a carcinoid syndrome even without metastasizing to the liver? The answer is yes, if it's a bronchial carcinoid. What is the fastest test to diagnose carcinoid? So here's the difference between a doofus doctor and a competent doctor. The doofus doctor will go like this. Oh, you have itching. Let me refer you to an immunologist. You have diarrhea? I will give you a referral to a freaking gastroenterologist. You're flushing. Dermatologist. You have facial telangiectasia. Dermatologist. You have a violaceous macular rash. Dermatologist. You have bronchospasm and wheezing. I will refer you to a cardiologist and a pulmonologist. You seem to have a murmur. I'll get you a freaking sonographer to give you an echo. That's a doofus doctor. But a competent doctor can diagnose this disease in two minutes. Ready? Get some ferric chloride in a test tube. It's going to cost you 25 cents if you buy it wholesale. Add this amount to an equal amount of the patient's urine and shake them for two minutes. If the color of the ferric chloride changes into deep red-brown color and you have all the symptoms, 
you have the diagnosis of carcinoid syndrome. Give the patient octreotide to relieve the symptoms and tell the patient to come back to remove the tumor. That's how you help the patient, unlike the first doofus physician who keeps referring the patient to 16 different flipping specialists and then they wonder why the patient doesn't trust them. Why is my patient so anti-science? Oh, shut up. Science is not your cousin. Your parents are, because you're a doofus. Sorry. Pause and review. Want to learn more about serotonin? Check out my Utacoids Pharmacology course at medicosisperfectsnatus.com. And for a limited number of students, you can get a 40% discount towards anything on my website. Just use discount code KIDNEY. Let's review carcinoid syndrome from Picmonic. It's released from neuroendocrine cell. Here are some neurons for you. Too much serotonin. The most common location of the tumor is the appendix. The tumor stains for chromogranin A and neuron-specific enolase. The symptoms start when you metastasize to the liver. The symptoms include wheezing, diarrhea, flushing, and right-sided murmurs. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, hit the bell, and click on the join button. You can support me here or here. Go to my website to download my courses. Go to Picmonic for animated medical mnemonics. Be safe, stay happy, study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionaris, where medicine makes perfect sense.